Hey guys, so today we're going to talk about an operating system that I don't have a, the ability to show you. This is a particular system that's interesting because Next Step um, was part of the NEXT uh, infrastructure, the Unix-based systems. This is the system that saved Apple. Apple nearly went out of business in the late 90s, and the reason why is because they were getting a lot of competition from Microsoft. Um, they were getting a lot of competition from even the Linux world, where they were getting crushed. Uh, as a result, uh, between that and the lack of their ability or desire to sell their software um, to third-party companies like Microsoft does, where they allow third-party companies to license software to sell it so that way they could run it all on Microsoft Windows operating system. Apple didn't want to do that. They had no desire to do that. All their software was developed in-house. Uh, they had developers that would take care of that stuff, but they would never sell that software to be used on other Unix-based systems. So what happened was, is during the time period of the mid, well, really the late 80s into the early 2000s, about 1999, Steve Jobs had jumped ship. He was running his own system, his own infrastructure, and he had developed the NEXT operating system on a Unix-based platform. And these systems were designed and actually Frankly, they were fantastic systems running on the risk-based processors, Unix-based systems, and they were great business platforms. They were competition through uh, Solaris. They were competition for HP uh, with their UX. They were competition for AIX. They were competition for Windows NT-based platforms. They were great systems. Um, but what happened was is that Apple decided, you know, in 1997, they said, you know, we were going to, they, they were getting pushed by their board to resell, to sell Apple Computer, to make Apple Computer a publicly traded company that was publicly owned. And in doing that, uh, Steve Jobs did not want that to happen. So what happened was is Jobs came back to Apple and offered them to use the NEXT platform for OS X. So if you look around, eventually you could find it. You'll find something called Rap, uh, Raspity, or Rap, Rhapsody for Apple. And Rhapsody was the beta version of OS X. And it was briefly released on an Intel-based chipset for them to allow them to develop applications for it. But it was never supposed to be run on Intel. That's the reason why later when Apple decided that they were going to roll out the OS X platform to allow it to run on the Intel chipset, they didn't have to spend billions of dollars in development. It had already been developed. That process was developed in 1998-ish, right around there. So you can find the beta out there, and it will run on some Intel-based processors, but likely you'll need a Core 2-based processor to actually to, uh, run it. Um, with that said, this particular operating system, the NEXT operating system here for uh, Next Step, was version 4.2, which was developed in 1995. And this is really what OS X was when it was released. The PowerPC is a risk-based processor. That is a Unix-based system. And if it wasn't for Steve Jobs and developing this operating system for use on his business systems, Apple may not exist. Um, they made some really terrible decisions. They released Palm Pilots that were, uh, they were trying to compete with Palm OS at the time and even to some extent, BlackBerry, and they got crushed. Um, it wasn't until they released the iPod and eventually the iPhone that they actually had revenue and cash in order to create all these great products that they've released. But before that, they were always a little gimmicky. Um, and ultimately, if it wasn't for jobs coming back with this operating system, they likely wouldn't exist any longer. Now, hopefully, you guys find this uh, entertaining. Um, and you guys find this informative. And if I could get a bunch of subscribers on this, I would love to go out and buy a risk-based processor, old Apple machine, and do a review of that, and even a comparison of the Windows machines that existed at the time. But at, the, at this point, I don't have any way to run a risk-based system. Uh, hopefully, like and subscribe, uh, and I'll continue to make these videos, guys. You guys take care now.